Well, my, um, my mother and father were from the World War II generation. My father actually fought at uh, Pearl Harbor when it was hit. So I grew up with memories of, of hearing all of those things, those stories. Not that my father talked about it much, but the times that he did, it was very impactful. Um, so my mother was born in 1925, my father in 1920. I lost him in 95. Um, he was not a Christian, um, an agnostic, I would say. Uh, although who knows, you know, God works strangely in different people's lives. And he said at various times, and it's kind of something I hold on to and hope for, that uh, when my mother and he would talk, there were times when he would feel as though he, he was coming to God. And hopefully one of those times really it happened. That's, yeah. you know, kind of my prayer, because I do indeed uh, love my father <laughs> and miss him deeply. Right. Um, I lost my mom in 2019. So um I'm now an orphan other than uh, the Heavenly Father, which is actually the greatest of all. So um, so I grew up in a household in which my mother was uh, very much an evangelical Christian. She had our local Christian radio on 24-7, and it certainly resounded in my ears all through my childhood. And uh, I remember making a decision for Christ when I was, I don't know, five, six, seven, somewhere in that age. I don't know exactly when it was. It was very real to me. Um, and so uh, it, as two voices in my head, my mother and father continued to be important things growing up um, all through my young adult and through my adult years as well. And uh, certainly for the first part of my, of my life, my mother's influence won. And I ended up going to Bible college and studying for four years to be a pastor. Um, but in the in, in about the middle of my Bible college experience, Lancaster Bible College, I began taking uh, philosophy courses with uh, one of the most brilliant men I've ever met in my life, Mr. D Dr. Bob Willie. Um, uh, and he and I started studying philosophy um, together. And he had an intro to philosophy course that I took and absolutely adored. And then I, there were no other philosophy courses offered at Lancaster Bible College. So I started to study it independently with him. And um, uh, so I, I took an interest in that. I, I, I hesitate to say that it was philosophy that drew me away, but it certainly was something that was an influence that was part of what was going on. Um, <clears throat> so I would say about the mid midpoint of my Bible college experience, um, I, I threw myself into my Christian faith with everything I had, which is kind of characteristic for me. I'm definitely an introvert, a deep introvert. And when I commit myself to something, it's, uh, and my, my wife would tell you this, my, my wife, Jenny, sitting right over here. She would tell you, I never, I never go half measures. I'm always all in or all out. Yeah. And I threw myself all in and um, it began to feel to me as I continued on through my Bible college experience that I was increasingly trying to convince myself of the truth of something that was slowly but surely slipping away from me. Yes. And so I graduated from Lancaster Bible College and um, was well on my way towards agnosticism. And At this point, you, you, were, you were planning on going to the ministry, right? Be a <laughs> right. And not a good... Not a good um, career choice to to suddenly become an agnostic when you've just invested four years <laughs> in becoming a pastor. 